This is the Philippine Archipelago. It is fortunate to have renewable energy resources such as wind, solar, water, and thermal energy. However, these combined are not sufficient to meet the demands. As such, the Filipinos have turned to fossil fuels in order to meet the demands of electricity. But, in reality, fossil fuels are expensive and account for so much greenhouse gas, which causes global warming. Today, as the Philippines continues to develop, the demands for electricity rise, and both renewable and non-renewable resources have a hard time of meeting those demands. Because of that, people suffer from expensive electric bills and scheduled blackouts. To bridge the gap of power, we can resort to nuclear power. Nuclear power is attained from the energy released by fission of radioisotopes such as uranium-235. A nuclear power plant converts this energy to produce electricity. Unlike other renewable energy resources, nuclear plants can generate energy 90% of the year, regardless of the weather. As much as it concerns pollution, a nuclear plant produces little to no greenhouse gas. Also, the cost for its fuel is approximately 20% of the cost of the energy it generates, making it cheaper compared to other energy resources. However, many people still worry about the problems that nuclear energy may bring. These include the difficulty of containing radioactive waste and harmful radiation that could pose a threat to one's health. Also, people still remember the Chernobyl and Fukushima nuclear accidents, which affected thousands of lives. The Bataan Nuclear Power Plant is the country's first and only nuclear power plant. It's been mothballed for years since the Marcus administration. To finally put it into good use, we can start by rehabilitating the facility and start generating electricity. We already have the facility. All we need now are the right people for the job, and maybe the Philippines can finally meet the power demand using sustainable energy.